Community Note 42 is a study that we set up a number of years ago to assess the efficacy of pembrolizumab versus standard chemotherapy for patients who had a pd one expression with a tumor proportion score of 1% or greater. And this is a trial designed for patients with non-small cell lung cancer who could have both squamous and non-squamous histology. Patients had to have a good performance status of 0 or 1, and they could not have EGFR mutations or ALK translocations. Our primary endpoint was overall survival, and that was to be tested sequentially for the 50% and greater population, 20% and greater, and 1% and greater. And what we did show is that the primary endpoint was positive. Overall survival was better for all patients in the trial, including patients with 1% and greater. For that specific patient population, we had a hazard ratio of 0.81 and a p-value of 0.0018. In addition to that, we also tested for progression-free survival as a key secondary endpoint, and that was also supposed to be tested for the 50% and greater first. And even though we did find a hazard ratio of around 0.8, the p-value of 0 0.0019 was not low enough for this interim analysis threshold to be crossed, and as such, the progression-free survival was not positive in this interim analysis. Because of that, we did not have statistical testing for progression for survival for the other subgroups, but we did show the results for response rates, which were quite similar between uh, pembrolizumab and chemotherapy. And what seemed to favor patients with pembrolizumab is that the duration of response was much longer. So the duration of response with pembrolizumab was in excess of 20 months, or approximately 20 months rather, and for patients with chemotherapy that usually ranged between 8 and 9 months. We do have combinations of chemotherapy and immunotherapy that do improve survival versus chemotherapy. And my usual clinical impression is that those patients that have large volume of disease or symptomatic uh, disease, they should consider combinations of chemotherapy and immunotherapy. Those patients with lower volume of disease and those patients who have higher levels of pd one expression are patients for whom we might consider pembrolizumab as a single agent.